Hey guys, happy Homebrew Wednesday. What I thought I might do this week is do a beer review and then while I'm tasting the beer I'll just talk about a few other things. So about a week and a half ago I got contacted by um, Luke Watkins um, through a Facebook group that I belong to and he asked me if I'd be interested in um, tasting one of his beers and just um, giving some feedback on it. So of course I, I said yes. Who, have to be an idiot to uh, turn down a, a free beer uh, tasting. So yeah, here's the beer here. I've got two bottles. So I'll keep the other one and share that um, with someone else. Probably probably Alan from Shadow Beast Brew. But here it is. So it's the Blonde Addiction, um, August 14, Hal Watkins. So I'll pour it out at first and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the beer. So it's cold, but it's, uh, it's not cold, cold. So it's probably about eight degrees. We'll see how we go. So we'll pop the top. There we go. There's a bit of hiss off the top there. Yep, you can see the bubbles coming up. So let's pour it out. So yeah, this is a blonde addiction. So as you can see as I'm pouring, it's a beautiful golden color. Super clear. I'm gonna pour up a fairly big head. So what I might do is we'll leave it there. So that's the beer there. So um, Luke dropped off some notes as well. So it's a par it's a partial mash. So it's got a kilo of Bohemian pills in the malt, a kilo of German carapils. A kilo of G carapils is uh, quite a lot in a beer. Um, normally, I don't think you'd use that much normally. You use, use it normally for head retention uh, in smaller quantities, but um, it's obviously done the trick. So I've never had a beer with that quantity of carapil, so it'll be interesting to see how that comes through in the taste. Um, he's then added a one and a half kilo light black rock malt extract. Um, then he's done some hop additions. Um, at 30 minutes he's done 15 grams of Nelson Salvin and Mochiwaka. And at 10 minutes he's done another uh, 15 grams of uh, Nelson Salvin and Mochiwaka. And it's a 26 litre batch. He's used the Danstar Nottingham Ale Yeast um, and he's dry hopped for 14 days in a hop bag with another 15 grams of Nelson Salvin and 15 grams of Mochiwaka. And it was bottled at three weeks. So yeah, there it is there. I might just pause the video there and then we'll come back once the head's gone down a bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, the head's gone down a little bit, but um, it's still staying there. <coughs> Beautifully clear. Like I say, fantastic colour. Uh, really nice cascade of bubbles coming up from the bottom. It is bottle condition, but it has a very, very tight um, sediment at the bottom, at the bottom of the bottle. So no, no sediment at all went into the glass. Um, as I was saying before, I think that kilo of carapils has um, um, definitely um, uh, helped contribute to uh, that fantastic large head. Let's get a nose on it. So I'm getting some hops off the top. Smells quite lager, lager-like, and I'm guessing that's um, because he's used that uh, Pilsner, Pilsner malt along with the light black rock malt extract. It's got quite a nice, clean aroma to it. Probably not picking too much up just because of the head. So what I might do is I'll uh, I'll tuck into it now. Yeah, that's got a really nice um, lager-esque um, taste to it, even though it's used in ale yeast. So what you've done, Luke, um, if you're not aware, you've done like a hybrid there, sort of a lager-style beer with an ale yeast. 
um, and that's come out really really good. Yeah, I'm picking out some nice passion fruit from Mochueca and some nice wine like qualities from the Nelson Salvin. So it's a nice mixture those those two. Um, bitterness is quite moderate. There's no sort of lingering, there's a little bit of bitterness there but it's not lingering um, but that's that's fine. Uh, what else can I say? It's got quite a nice uh, crisp dry finish to it as well like in keeping um, with a, with a, um, a lager type beer. Um, very nice beer. It's a shame we're not in the middle of our uh, summer at the moment because this would go down fantastically well. This would make a great, great session um, summer beer. I don't know what the ABV is on it. Uh, Luke, if you maybe chuck us a comment in the down below. Um, yeah, I can't can't see anything uh, on your notes here. But that's a great effort, mate. I'd I'd be very I'd be very proud of that and. Like I was saying, it's, uh, appearance wise, there's a, that's a 10 out of 10 beer right there. And look at the very nice, really nice lacing as well. That is an excellent beer. Um, I don't think Luke's on YouTube, but I could be wrong. Um, sing out if you are, Luke, and I'll um, we'll chuck a link down below. Um, yeah, so that's Luke's um, Blonde Addiction. Um, before I finish, um, yeah, I'm just I'm enjoying um, tasting and reviewing the SJ Paul beers uh, as well this week. Uh, has some fantastic beers. I'm about halfway through my box of 20. Um, some of the ones that come to mind have been quite memorable are uh, the mushroom mushroom ale, smoked mushroom ale. That's very nice. Uh, the pina colada IPA um, had the coconut in it. Um, another one had some strawberry in it. Um, and a really, really nice couple of red IPAs. So it's been a real good mixture of beers, and uh, that's been the highlight for me so far. Um, with the challenges, um, not so much um, how my beer is getting on. I don't expect to get anywhere with it, but um, the the biggest uh, thrill for me is getting to try everyone else's beer, and that's uh, that's what's really made it for me. Um, I don't. Th it's an opportunity that money can't buy. So. Um, you know, trying other people's beers, um, they'll never be available again in that selection, so yeah, it's been great fun. Um, I got my first um, video review of my SJ Poor um, entry, if you're interested, um, Grant Baker did a review, um, so I'll put a link below in the description if you want to click on that. Mine is the Toasted Pale Ale, I think it's the third of the three beers that he reviews in the video. So if you're interested, check that out. He seems to have some positive things to say about it. So cheers, Grub. And uh, yeah, that's about me done, guys. Um, once again, Luke, fantastic beer. I really appreciate you contacting me and um, dropping these off. Um, I know that Alan will be uh, very keen to uh, try the other bottle. And uh, yeah, keep up the great work. Okay, guys, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.